Welcome to Grab Life by the Horns. Powered by Legacy Builders Global. And we are Jennifer Pekan and Jan-Marc Pekan. Hello guys and welcome to this episode today. And our topic is There is only one life. Why we are coming to this point is there are so many discussions and we get so, ma uh, so many times this question, how you combine your private life and your business life and how you stick together in more than 17 years now and how you manage all of this. And um, this is why we picked this, um, we picked this topic because there's basically, and you will be maybe surprised about that, not a big difference in business life and in, in private life, the difference is only how you get raised or how you grew up and how the company forms, formed you. Um, it's in your head. It's not. Um, it's actually not existing anywhere else. Exactly. Welcome as well from my side. And um, you, you know us, and we are um, driven by our values um, and every human being has some core values and um, those core values actually they drive all of our behavior usually they are influenced um, by how you are raised your experience um, maybe tragic events good events they all influence those those values but they are deep inside of you so This is the feeling that that you might have when you when you think, I'm I'm there. I'm I'm relaxed when when you are with like people that you maybe only know like for a few hours or or days, but it feels like forever. This is like when the core values match. That gives you that feeling. And this uh, and the core values they they don't change like when you have a job and you go into a company at 8 a.m. in the morning uh, you don't leave the core values like in the car park and then you enter into the company and do your job and then you pick your core values up like in the car park when you leave it doesn't work like that because those values you always carry them And if you suppress them, that's what makes you feel unhappy. Yeah, and um, you know we always tell our investors as well that you have to build your team, and uh, team building is really an important skill not only for entrepreneurs, it's as well for you as a private person or as an uh, employee or um, as um, a manager. As a manager, doesn't matter what you are doing. You have to be able to build your team around uh, surround yourself with, and that means as well. Actually, everybody can can does this can do that. I cannot speak English today. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for my grammar. So um, <laughs> we just uh, we just came back from a um, from a birthday party, but we're still doing this, and this means as well we stick together. Um, we um, we had a private uh, commitment uh, commitment to, uh, this evening, and. We both are really tired, uh, to be honest, but uh, we know as well that we want to uh, give you this value as well. And Sunday evening, this is our time to do our podcast. Um, and this is as well like uh, when we come back to building this team is you have uh, you need to find people you must find people they will support you in your life and you do this in private life already like you you choose your hairdresser um, you choose your uh, mechanic um, the, the bakery uh, the best bakery or like babysitter. You know, a babysitter whatever you need in your life you build this team to support you in your private life and nothing else you are doing with your partner you choose to live with or with the team you are working together okay and you and there are the same rules like Jan Mark already said you have uh, you stick to your values and um, loyalty and integrity um, are just to uh, to name two at the moment uh, one of the uh, biggest values we are um, 
carry on. Can you say this in English? Yeah, that, that, that's what, that, that's two of our biggest values. But the the other thing is that we that we do what we say we're going to do, and yes. this, this is also why why we're basically sitting here and recording the podcast, um, where other people might uh, already be in bed. I mean, it's like eleven uh, ten p.m. at night, um, but it's. That, those are the things that that make you successful at the end. It's uh, and we're talking about only having one life, and that, but that also means you only have one life to make it count, yeah. right? So. Um, and and I had an interesting uh, thing uh, I, I stumbled across in, in social media uh, was because of a, a, a post I was doing is um, I, I read something and and it was like um, if you're looking for a helping hand look at the end of your own arm <laughs> and and the the point there is yes it can be taken greatly out of context um, as I have been made aware but it's not what what it is about and there there was one um, there was one comment uh, on that post was um, yeah but uh, if you want to uh, have it done right always do it yourself and that, that's something that in business can kill you yeah be, because you can't grow if you do everything yourself and sometimes like um, you you the the hundred percent you are doing of one task are not needed somebody else can do that task and maybe need a little bit longer or is doing like not a, like a hundred percent but ninety percent but from a customer point of view that might not make any difference be, because it's it's still over the top than what everybody else would deliver because you selected the right team members and this is one uh, one thing we struggled, uh, to be honest, as well in the beginning to uh, delegate was, yes. um, the first thing because uh, you might be in the situation as well if you are self-employed and thinking about having a team. Um, there are always uh, like different reactions um, we are getting confronted with as um, that, well, if you have a team, you always have trouble. You always have to take care of people and all the things like that. Yes, there is... Uh, you, you cannot avoid any trouble, okay? And you will get hurt. Um, but, you know, there's always, like, you would always pick a life partner as well um, and not avoid this and not avoid love or, like, have friends or something else because you get hurt one point from a friend or from a partner in private life. Like, you always try it again and again and again. And this is the same in, in business as well. You um, you take care of the value, um, of the core values of, of your team members, and then it's like the trouble will be less. But the point is that... Um, that sometimes we are that much under stress and under pressure to pick that we have the feeling that we need to pick people at this time because we could not live without anybody that we um, that we rather would take the wrong person that we have somebody instead of waiting a little bit and uh, find the right person and this is really like to have the power to say okay I stick to this I stick to my plan even if it means that you you are not closing this one deal because it's not aligned with your values or um, you're not closing this contract with this new employee or with this partner because the values are not aligned or like there's not the thing that, that that the compromises are too big uh, that can damage the business and your life later um, more than if you would stick to your to your priorities and to your values and this is the same in your private life like of course you have to find compromises and uh, we do this as well but um, on the other side is that and we, we spoke about this already the last time I think that you have to look, to look in your mirror every morning and you see yourself you know like you have to live with yourself until the end of your life um, but it doesn't mean that and I, I'm really I'm a, a big believer in that that if you stick to your values and um, follow those you will always and you know you, you are honest and um, and be loyal and do the right things 
Um, it might be painful in between, but it will always uh, be a happy end. And um, this it, is this is how we do it uh, in private and in business life. Yeah, and it's interesting because as as you were talking, uh, uh, something crossed my mind, and it's there is this HR saying. Okay, and it's interesting. Um, that says is hire slowly and fire quickly. Okay, and the the idea behind that saying is basically is you have to take your time to select the right people for your team, but. If at the moment you realize they are not the right fit, you should remove them. And that's for two reasons. It's the, the number one reason is to protect your company, your team and yourself. But the second reason, and that's a, a reason that is greatly overlooked when you, uh, when you let go people, is that it can also have a very positive effect for them. Because believe it or not, a lot of people, when you hire them and you put them into a position and they realize before you are realizing that they cannot fill the position, that they cannot do the job, um, they know that. And it does something with them inside because they, they are getting frustrated and it can have effects on their private life um, because they are not performing at work. So um, they are getting more stressed. It has health issues. It can have health issues. So it, it, that that's something is like because everybody thinks like when you fire somebody that's that it's all about the company and you, if you are the boss or the employee uh, or the, the, the uh, entrepreneur, but it can also have a huge benefit for the employee. But the same rule, and this is why I, I, I grinned a bit, is because the same rule actually applies for a life partner as well. <laughs> we did not stick to that plan. No, we didn't <laughs> stick to that plan. But um, it, it's like we, uh, it's yeah, we we met and it was uh, it, it was definitely a fast hire. Let's put it like that. <laughs> But um, the uh, the thing is that um, we uh, we still we had a lot of. Um, like when, when we started dating we had a distance relationship with about 450 kilometers between us and we did a lot of talking on the phone because believe it or not but WhatsApp wasn't there there was no <laughs> smartphone okay cell phones could still talk um, write the text message and you can play snake on it and the modern ones had an infrared so you can play snake with somebody Did else. Did not even have uh, had a camera, I think. No, the no, there was yes. no camera. Yeah. No, when we, no. Um, that, I that, printed the map to find the way to... There was no place. navigation yeah. systems. And, uh, like, there were the, the, the installed navigation systems, but they were very expensive. Yeah. Um, the mobile ones didn't exist and stuff like that. So we're that old. But um, <laughs> the, the, the thing is that um, I, I would still consider that a part of the hiring because we had a lot of time to get to know each other um, because we had so many hours on the phone and we talked so much because we couldn't see each other except for the weekends so um, that that's why I'm saying uh, this and this is like a lot of people might miss that in the beginning um, because when you get into a relationship where you are close to each other you might miss that that point that that's why i i said it's like you have this uh... yes and you always have to find a way to communicate so we wrote uh, like long letters as well if we had yeah. a feeling that we could not talk on the phone about that and um so there were all the things like Uh, we learned how to communicate with each other and I think that a lot of people um, they try to avoid uh, to trust somebody because um, they had bad experience but and, and at this time when we uh, when we started dating um, and we had all cell phones there was a huge topic um, in um, in my well with my friends as well um, if we um, look secretly and read secretly the messages uh, to the cell phones and um, I never understood that because um, 
or like if we hide the cell phone from the from the partner that he cannot uh, read some messages and stuff like that and I never understood this point because for me um, I didn't care if he read my um, my messages or not and, um, I, I, and vice versa I mean, yeah. our phones were always like, okay, you want a phone? Here's the phone. Yeah. Um, it it was it was never a problem, because like you need to you, you need to trust anyway. And if you start with a distance relationship, well, you have no. <laughs> no you have no choice. Yeah. You have no choice. You <laughs> have to true. trust. That's true, and uh, but this pushes us as well in this. Um, you know, we had to think about if we really wanted because it was of course more exhausting and we had to work more on our relationship than maybe others had but um, it strengthened our relationship as well and the, the, the same things and it doesn't matter if you like um, switch as well to the business part it's always the same you have to find a way to communicate and uh, one thing popped to my mind as well when you spoke that um, you have to have the same goal okay yeah. And I have like uh, one couple in mind. She is a workaholic and he would love to live his life. So um, just and uh, together with his wife and just enjoying life, relaxing, not working at all um, because they got actually already retired. But, um, you know, you have if one part wants to work and work as a part of their life because it's like this is the law. They love the, what they do, and it is the same with us. Like work is not working for us; it's our hobby as well, and we really love to, to our, do that. It's our life. It's, it's our life. Yeah, it's, it's our uh, and our lifestyle. Our, <laughs> exactly, and um, th and if the other party has uh, another lifestyle and um, wants to do something different, it cannot fit because they always have trouble about this topic. Um, and one of the uh, persons always like uh, in this in this uh, example, it's the husband who is always a little bit like, mm, I thought at this point we will uh, switch our life and we will go and start more relaxing while the other things, well, I still feel too young to relax all the, <laughs> all the rest of my life. I want to work because this is part who I am and I, what I love to do. And um, this is the same business or private doesn't matter if you have a partnership and you have the same goal and you go the same journey and push each other through um, this is always the way to go but you have to respect each other's um, like if they are uh, if if they are not able to do anything if they you know you try to push them you try to support them and as soon as long as you do this i think there is no problem i think there's a problem when the goals are separate what do you think yeah well yeah i, I mean the, the goals are fundamentals it, it's like the um the, for me is uh, the, the goals are a derivative um of of your core values yeah, um, but when we had this stressful time as well, then we had different goals in life as well. Yes, yes, and we had to realign the goals. Yeah, exactly. We yeah. had to come together again, and this is why we do the goal planning for the next year together, to make sure yeah. that we have, you know, that, that we can work together on these goals. Yes, and that we can uh, agree on them. Yeah, and and that's uh, and that's sometimes a discussion, and sometimes it's no discussion. Yeah, but um, you have to uh, you have to have those those discussions. And you you're right. The, the trouble that that we had was always when the I would say the short term goals didn't align, but um, the core values at even in that time did not change. Mm. Because it's like the most trouble we had is like because our core value is that we both really want to work and that we want to be somehow independent from each other, um, still be together, but as like financially independent and have the feeling that everybody's contributing to the success, yeah. to the financial success in, in life. And um, the, the, the trouble came when you couldn't live your core value. That's true. So, um, be, be, because of the situation we had in, in, in France, and you couldn't find the the adequate job that 
like fulfilled you in a way and that you had the feeling you were contributing as much as, as I was at that point of time uh, towards the financial success. That that's true, and the independence is a uh, is a good point um, because and there's um, you know if you see um, as well with women they try they always try to be independent from their husband uh, or like as well when we we're here or can you not do this decision by yourself or do you have to ask your husband or your wife or whatever um, you know this has nothing to do with independence to be honest because when I'm respecting my husband or my partner. I would always ask him, even if I would, like, um, I, I'm convinced that I'm doing uh, the right thing and I want to do something, then I have to sell it to him. But it needs to be discussed and communicated that you know that you are aligned because um, you need to work together on this. That doesn't mean that you are not independent. It's ch it just means that you are loyal and uh, so it's, it's the way I see it, that you are loyal and that you are respect the other party and their opinion because they might uh, see the things differently and doesn't matter what it is we we always discuss it short or long that depends on the topic uh, just to make sure that we are on the same page yeah and and not not only that it's uh, it's that that one thing that we that we all always discuss is what what you said is like um, if it's a bigger investment and not only a, a hundred or a couple of hundred then we will always uh, d discuss it even though the other partner might not even have like the specific knowledge at that point of time to say yes or no It's just like to get back on the same page um, because we're, we're both doing our, like we're working in, in, in our businesses, but we're doing different things. Yeah. So, um, for example, when Jennifer uh, said, okay, I want the, this, this LinkedIn I don't know, sales, I, I don't uh, remember. Uh, sales navigator. Sales navigator. Um, uh, and then she explained why and, and got it basically and I said I said yes I, I was in at that point I was in no position to even judge if that is a, a good investment or not uh, I I need to trust her that she has done the research and that she knows what she's doing and that when when she says I need it because of X Y and Z and it's getting me more efficient blah 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 then um, it's a yes and then the the only thing at that point that she was looking for for me is because I'm I'm looking at more at the financials right now of the company to say okay yes we can do it now or we need to wait uh, a, a couple of weeks more or like in in terms of managing the cash flow yeah. And, and that's, that, that's the other thing. I, I think it's also the role of a partner in private and in business um, to support the decisions of the other partner. Yeah. And yes, you, it's always the saying, trust but verify. But at one point, you have to make a decision in, in order to say, okay, I know my center of expertise and that decision is not in my center. So if my partner tells me we need to do this and we should be doing this now, then then the only thing you can say is from your center of expertise, I think look at this or look at that. And if, if everything is taken into account, then just make the decision and go and, and back it up. And it's, uh, and it's part of delegation as well, you know, like uh, it's not that you say, okay, he's doing that, but it's like you, it's, uh, sometimes if, if you know that you're not your expertise, then you delegate this, situa uh, this topic to your partner because, you know, he, he's doing that better. And if you have already like a longer relationship and um, a longer period of time together, you know what your um, arguments were, you know where, where you had your fights and you know how your partner um, ticks basically yeah. and um, you don't have to you know you don't have to put this button um, if you know okay this freaks him out because everybody has like this this buttons and you know exactly what you have to say and how you have to do it that you can get it or that 
yeah, the party freaks out, to be honest. Like, and if you want to have, like, you don't need more trouble in your life. Like, um, no, uh, I mean, just respect the other person. Sometimes just uh, also just let it go. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you, you do that at, at home. Uh, you do it also in in business sometimes i don't understand why why people uh, want to pick that that fight it doesn't it doesn't make any sense i mean you you see the emotional red button and everybody sees it in the room like in a meeting room or something and somebody just decides okay today i gonna like jump on that button and then the whole situation just gets worse yeah and it it is like don't take it emotionally like take no. it like a stay objective and try to make really like um the like take a step back and see the situation it's uh, not a personal thing if you have a fight and um just try to um you know Go, go always back and try why you think like what is the best things uh, why you pick the other person like doesn't matter if business or private like um, why is this person working with you or living with you why what you love on this person what you respect on this person uh, or why you hire this person doesn't matter what are the points and are they um Are they basically more pros than cons? Like always make this balance. And there's uh, one thing we said um, in our relationship really in, in the early beginning is like if there is the point where we are more frustrated than happy, then it's time to leave. And um, this is like, you know, over a long period of time, you don't make this decision like really quick. And um, in, in France, when I made this decision to, To go back to Germany for myself um, it, I had already like the fight with myself for two years and the fights with you as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because you have to love yourself to love others uh, to be able to love others as well but you need to of course both both parties has to communicate to listen and to talk about what they think you cannot you know read between the lines is not always the best thing to do No, because it leaves too much room for interpretation sometimes. But it's you're right. It's um, when when it really gets emotional. Um, I I think the um, the the big thing is um, to try not to be extra hurtful. Yeah. To to put you have to put the the topic on the table where you need to be uh, on in an agreement i mean in business and in private but you can try and sometimes it's not always it's not always easy and sometimes it doesn't work but um you can at least try and give the best effort you can in order to phrase it in a way that you get your point across but that you are not extra trying to hurt the other person because When, when you are hurting your partner, um, being it private or, or in business, um, that, leaves, that leaves a scar, first of all. And the second thing is that in a, in a discussion or at that point it's a fight if you, uh, if you really try to hurt somebody, um, the odds are very, very high that that person will return the favor right away. Because, I, I mean, let's face it, we're all sitting in a, in a glass house and as soon as you throw the first stone, there's going to be a stone coming back. Because this is, this is human behavior. If, if you get hurt emotionally, you, you will, in a, in a reaction, just turn around and defend yourself. And the best defense is usually the attack. So you, will, you are going to try to attack the other person and it, and, it would, and at that point you will not resolve the issue anymore because it's not about the issue then. That's true. And while you're saying this, I'm thinking just um, the kind of uh, communication um, really changed when, as soon as um, Felix arrived, basically, and you have to raise a child and get your cro a point across um, without, of course, you don't want to hurt your child, of course, but of, you, you have your fights with your child as well, but you always find to tr uh, try to find a way to get your point across that this child will understand 
but and be co cooperative cooperative yeah, yeah. Um, to um, and to support you in what you want to do but um, in our case like Felix has to understand what we want from him and we need his um, agreement, agreement yeah. as well for this otherwise if ch uh, if children or if Felix does not agree I have no chance at all like even if he uh, let's say we, we go uh, we go somewhere and I put him in the car if he does not want to do that and I have him in the car um, I have the worst time on this day I can tell you it's it going to be very exhausting yeah so uh, you need to find a way to that both agrees and I think this is the same it uh, doesn't matter in life partnership or, or, or in business partnership yeah it's, it's, it's the same you, you have to make sure that um, you are in agreement or that you go back to an agreement if you are not you have to be in this synchronization a yeah. partnership is like a, for the engineers of us it's like a gearbox you have the different gears and as soon as one gear doesn't work um, you, you are getting totally out of sync and if you don't fix it it will only get worse until the whole gearbox is going to blow up okay <laughs> yeah, that's the engineering explanation to um, life and business partnership. Yeah, <laughs> you are your boss. So, well, okay. Um, so for for the emotional part, I think um, if you have children, you understand. Uh, you understand my point. You try always yes. to find, try to find a way uh, to get your point through, and um, always remind as uh, I always remind myself as well on when we went to university. Um, communication is not only what you talk it's as well what you understand and how you listen and the nonverbal communication in between as well and um, you know make the other party feel comfortable as well and um, and of course if you have the fights in the beginning and if you want to uh, live together or work together whatever and you still have the same goal you can have every fight it doesn't matter you will stick to the plan because you know what you're doing uh, why you are doing this and you find a way back um, to, together um, And the fights are important as well, and this trouble is important as well to um, be on the same page at one point. Because like all of our fights in the beginning and uh, when we met the first, uh, in the first, I would say, two years, I think, we had a lot of big fights and um, we spoke a lot on the phone and sp uh, had, wrote a lot of letters and we, uh, and we heard each other way more often then we do this now because uh, we really try to find how we can get our point through um, yes but also how, where, where do we want to go in life yeah you know we, we, yeah, were, we had to find we, each we were other 20 well. <laughs> we were both not we were both not stable yeah um now, now we're much more stable and we know much more what we want yeah and that 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 is true that makes the difference because when when we now have a fight The fight is in order on how do we progress from here yeah. and one of us, if we have that fight, like lost track of the, the goal, the path for, for a moment and um, basically that thing is like, uh, like a thunderstorm basically in the air, it's like you, you, you can feel it build up. Um, most of the time you cannot dissolve it and, and, and then it just it just happens but it clears the air and then like the clouds go sunshine settles in again and blah blah it's all like, like hoo -hoo. Uh, <laughs> nice summer day magic <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> no it's really like as you see it's like in every doesn't matter and think about your situations you're already um, experienced in business um, or with your job or with your private uh, or with your friends with your partner with your life partner with your children like if you go through in these different situations this is always the same always the same process the same routine the same um, I would say uh, what is the right word uh, for that like um, th there are always the same signs um, you you follow 
and um, you know and as soon as you understand how it works and you understand yourself better uh, because first of all you need to know you and you need to know uh, to love you as well and you need to know your goals and then you and your why and then you know for what you're fighting for and um, and sometimes as soon as you understand how to communicate with the other party you don't even have to fight because you just can talk to this person and make your point clear and um, yeah get get your goal and uh, yeah it's the, it's then more like a, like a discussion where yeah. you say hey it's like what the hell is going on yeah. and why are you deviating from what we agreed to and you are more trying to understand at that point what changed uh, what, what what did you miss um, was there like uh, everybody of us has a bad day or um, maybe even a low energy week um, where where you just where just things just slip and fall down and you don't do it intentionally You are just that uh, you're not even aware of um, that you are letting down uh, your partner on a commitment, maybe, and um, that's something you then clear in a discussion. We solved this, for example, with a, a code of honor uh, for our family and for our team as well. Um, and uh, when we had this um, this uh, fights, and as well, I think we had it last year or like for one and a half years, always when, when there's like, of course, big stress in the room um, and for a longer period of time. And um, And then, you know, we, we go back to this rules and just to this code of honor and we say, okay, did you do that, 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 and that? And then, you know, you already realize what's missing uh, and from whom. So, um, and then, you know... Um, you, you do, usually you don't even have then to... Uh, to discuss anymore. To, to discuss anymore because it's like after three to five questions, um, when, when everybody is honest, and that's the other point, with themselves... Um, yeah. Then, uh, then you know, okay, shit, I missed that, and that caused this, and this led to this, and then, okay, now we're here because of, okay. So it, it's like basically, it's like there's in um, in in quality, um, like uh, in big companies in the quality department, they have the rules. They ask uh, seven times why, and they find the root cause. It's like, why this happened? Okay, because of this. Why, 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 why? And it's, you can use the same methodology in, a, in your business partnership. You can also use it in your private partnership. Yeah. It's like, if, if you ask the why question and don't shy away and, and not, not hurtful, but like in a respective way, just to try to figure out what the hell happened, then you will you will find the root cause and at that point when you found the root cause what you also have to agree that it's not about okay now we have to blame that person that made that mistake but okay it was a mistake it was made uh, you can't change it anyway now how do we get out of here and let's not do that again Yeah, and this actually uh, leads me to, and I see we are already like eight over minutes time. over time, um, to a topic we can discuss and maybe um, you already agree. Um, next time is um, the power of saying sorry. Yeah, let's um, do that next time. Because this is really, um, it fits good now and uh, we could continue now with this, but I don't want to make it so, to, so long here and we agreed basically actually on 30 minutes. So <laughs> sorry for Get this. Get Extra. So, and um, next uh, next week we are talking about uh, the power of saying sorry because this is super important and it really can be a game changer. You don't want to miss that. And if you really want to change something right now with your partnerships, doesn't matter business or uh, private because we only have one life. Um, agree on a code uh, of honor for both sides. Both has to agree on that, or um, do create that together, basically. Yeah. Um, and then agree on that, sign it, and make a contract with each other. It's really worth it, and um, you will see your life will get easier in every single topic. 
exactly. With that, we leave you guys for tonight, this morning, or the lunch break, whenever you're going to listen to that. <laughs> Have an amazing time and talk to you next week. Bye bye. Bye. Do you want to get paid? Introducing Legacy Builders Global, where everybody gets paid. We don't create investors, we create legacy builders. Legacy Builders Global. Visit us at www.legacybuildersglobal.com.